by December, we were board ship again. And uh, we were on our way to Evo. We didn't know where we were going. We had no idea. By the time Marine Private First Class Roy Earl was on his way to Iwo Jima, he had already taken part in three other invasions. On board ship, the officers told the Marines that the next mission would be an easy one. It should take you maybe five days, five, six days. It should be all done. Earl was in the third assault wave on Iwo Jima, which came in under heavy fire. And we'd always hear people hollering, get off the beach, get off the beach, because the next wave is coming in and there's five minutes between waves. We were getting ready to go up and we heard a shell and we turned around and the ship we had come in on, that little boat, the LCBP, they hit it right smack in the middle and we saw it just falling apart. I never saw the Coxon Motor Mac again. The 4th Marine Division would lose 55% of its men at Iwo Jima. Earl's battalion was spared the worst of it and moved up from the beach to an airfield. Two weeks after the assault, the fighting continued. You know, you, you lose track of time. You have no idea what day it is or what month it is or anything. But it just so happened that somebody mentioned, today is the 5th of March, no kidding. And I said, 5th of March? It's my birthday. And they were all kidding me and everything, you know. But that night, I was laying there, and, and I was in a foxhole, and I'm thinking, 5th of March, a birthday, look at this. Bombs bursting overhead, they were. Bullets whizzing on both sides. I said, geez, even the Japs helped me celebrate my birthday. <laughs> what a way to celebrate your 21st birthday. <laughs>